Number 19. At what speed must the sliding rod in figure 23.11 move to produce an EMF uh, of 1 volt in a 1.5 tesla field given the rod's length is 30 centimeters? All right, so as this uh, rod moves, there is a, a changing uh, magnetic flux that occurs through this particular loop that is created here uh, because the area of it changes and therefore that induces a current. And that current uh, in and of itself now will then produce its own force, basically. The current's then moving up since it's moving uh, clock, uh, counterclockwise. The external field is pointing into the page and therefore the force will oppose then the, this is the force. We did a problem exactly like this before. Um, I don't remember the number, but uh, check that one out. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, it, it opposes the, the velocity. Okay, so it's gonna oppose the change and that's the whole idea here. Um, however, none of that is important to calculate the problem. All we need to do here is we need to realize that we have an induced EMF of uh, one volt. The external field is one and a half Tesla and the rod's length is 30 centimeters. And what we can do is we can use this formula then to find the speed that the induced EMF is gonna be equal to the external magnetic field multiplied by the length of the rod that's moving in that field multiplied then by the velocity. All right, so to find that velocity, just simply divide out then the magnetic field and the length. EMF then was one volt, the magnetic field was one and a half, and the length, be careful, you need to convert that into meters. Okay, they gave it to you in centimeters. So that's just gonna be one divided by 1.5 times 0.3 and 2.22. So 2.22 meters per second, and that's the velocity. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, hopefully this helps and uh, check out some of the other problems. Uh, very simple concepts. I'm sure the problems will get a little harder from here. All right, be well.